Hey guys, it's Alex. Today we're talking about five pros and five cons of living in Victoria, BC. I grew up here and I consider myself a Victorian, especially after getting away, going to university in Ontario and playing in the CFL for a couple of years. I think a bit of time away from the city has given me some good perspective on what makes it so special. Not only that, but also the things that are sort of drawbacks to living here and some of the primary advantages. I thought it'd be helpful to share that with you, especially if you're thinking of moving here. So without further ado, I'm gonna take you with me through the day. We're gonna stop in a few different places and film my list of five pros and five cons. Let's do it. I'm gonna start with the pros, just because everyone wants to hear all the good things and then we'll just sprinkle in all the negatives at the end. So uh, the first pro on my list, as many of you might think, probably number one up there, is the climate, the weather. Uh, Victoria has some of the best conditions year-round that you can expect in Canada. Huge reason for that is our proximity to the ocean which regulates temperature here. So it doesn't get too hot in the summer and it doesn't get too cold in the winter. Uh, it's mid-January right now and I'm walking around in Fairfield in a light coat enjoying uh, getting a bit of sun and working on my tan and that's one of the major benefits of living here is you can golf year-round uh, you can be outside and enjoying our beautiful environment year-round and it's a pretty darn nice place to be in the summer because it doesn't get too hot and muggy where you're constantly sweating I believe the summer caps out about 30 degrees is what I'd say our average temp in August is about 19 degrees and the coldest month is December where I think we average between three and seven degrees. So don't expect a lot of snow and come prepared for um, lots of time outdoors through the winter. I know it doesn't look like it now, but a lot of pockets in Victoria have their own little neighborhood centers. So pro number two for me is the villages. There are all these little bits of infrastructure and community centers that really become the focal point and a reason why you wouldn't necessarily even have to leave your little community because you can get to every amenity that you need just by walking around. I've got a few examples of these coming up in another video, so I'll give you a little teaser here. But ultimately, these little micro towns and villages are what make some of these communities of Victoria so special. Now I'm extremely biased. Uh, well, maybe not extremely biased, but um, you know, just my personal opinion, I think this is the most beautiful city in Canada, and it might even be the most beautiful city in the world. Reasons I say that, because of the proximity of our city to the ocean, all of these neighborhoods that make up Victoria are super close to the ocean, they're super close to all these amazing beaches and coves that dot our coastline, and they're also close to some of the most amazing vistas, views of Mount Baker, views of the Olympic Mountain Range in Washington State, uh, views west and sunsets over the Souk Hills. There's so much natural beauty here, so number three on my list is the great outdoors. Pro number four, the people. The people here are pretty darn relaxed, I like to think that us Victorians embrace the West Coast lifestyle. Don't take this the wrong way. I know I'm at a cemetery. This is Ross Bay Cemetery, um, but these are people too. And uh, a lot of them were uh, people that enjoyed living in Victoria. Uh, we're happy to open a door for those in need, share a smile and a greeting to those out for a walk and overall just enjoy living life. So the people here are super relaxed, super friendly and we're pretty easy to get along with. Pro number five, the variety of lifestyle options. Victoria is an extremely diverse city and you can find just about anything that your heart desires in Victoria, whether you're looking for a bustling food scene, amazing bars, and tons and tons of nightlife, you can find that in our downtown metropolis that looks kind of like this. If you're looking for a private rural setting, whether it's in the trees or out in pastoral farms, you can find it. It looks something like this. 
we've truly got it all and it's all really within a 30 to 40 minute drive of each other so you can be doing um, something really out there and rural in the morning and then drive into town in 30 minutes and find yourself enjoying some of the best food you're going to find on the west coast con number one it does rain here we get about 600 to 900 millimeters per year. Now, just as a frame of reference, Vancouver gets between 1,500 to 2,000, and our little coastal town, surf town of Tofino, gets close to 3,000 millimeters of rain per year. If you don't like rain, I mean, move to LA, they get something like 300 mils per year, but uh, ultimately the winters can be a little bit gray and a little bit wet. Con number two, we're stuck on the rock. The fact that we've got all this Pacific Ocean behind us means that ultimately it can be a bit of a pain to travel from Victoria. You can probably see the Coho Ferry there in the distance, just over my shoulder. They're heading off to Port Angeles, Washington. Ultimately, wherever you're trying to get to from Victoria can be a bit of a challenge. If you're driving and going to the mainland, you've got to add on another two hours to get on a BC ferry that costs you $75 if you're one passenger in one vehicle. And if you're flying, usually before you get to your primary destination, you've got to add on a little puddle jump, whether it's from here to Vancouver, here to Calgary, Toronto, even Seattle. It just tacks on and makes traveling that much more difficult because we don't have a ton of international flights from Victoria itself. Con number three, the expensive cost of housing and the affordability to actually live here. I am standing in uh, one of the most coveted neighborhoods in South Oak Bay and in Oak Bay in general in 2021, the average sale price of a detached home is north of $1.96 million. Now for Victoria as a whole, the detached home market has gone nuts in the last year and the cost to acquire a detached home on average in Victoria is $1.23 million, taking all the sales data from 2021. So that's one of the primary cons of Victoria. It's extremely expensive whether you're purchasing or renting. Rents can be $1,600 for one bedroom and north of 2,000 if you're looking for two bedroom accommodation. Con number four, crime. There has been a growing trend in crime in Victoria, especially in the last few years. That's mostly concentrated right within the downtown core, but Statistics Canada in 2020 released a report on the Crime Severity Index, which actually placed Victoria at the top of 13 other municipalities based on the number of calls received versus how severe each crime was. So that's one thing to bear in mind, especially if you're thinking about moving to um, a condo or townhouse, hypothetically, right within the downtown core of Victoria. Okay, last one of the day, con number five. It's not a grid. Unlike other major Canadian cities that have straight streets that are numbered and it's easy to understand, Victoria is not like that mostly because of our topography here and the way that the city was built out on the southern tip of the island. Most of the roads kind of go this way and that way and this way and that way. So um, don't take it too hard on yourself. Um, make sure you have your phone adequately charged whenever you go out because the roads and streets and how you get around isn't entirely logical. Um, so that's my last con. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have other pros and cons, if you're from Victoria and you think I missed something, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you're interested in other things about Victoria, um, the best of the best, the worst of the worst, make sure you guys subscribe because I've got tons of other content just like this that's being batched as we speak. So um, stay tuned for that and thanks for following along.